Yeah, dog. Welcome to Rector Riches. It's Thomas G. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to smash the like button, drop a comment. Always remember, I'm not a financial advisor for damn sure, not a professional. This is cryptocurrency. You could get wrecked, so you got to do your own research. And when it comes to social media influencers, don't ever allow a social media influencer on any social media platform to influence you when it comes to crypto because this stuff fails all the time. All right. Beard gone. Double chin back. Wrecked. I actually lost 30 pounds in the recent four months. But when you lose 30 pounds and you still got the chin on the chin, just lets you know how big you got during the bear market. Oh, well. Now let's jump into it. All right. I did. And follow me on Twitter. I did a poll for you guys to go vote out there. I put a link in the description to my X account. That's no longer called Twitter. It's X. And I'll pin it in the comments. And also, if you guys are interested in joining joining uh, the R2R community private group. It's just $20, just an entry fee. Never have to pay anything again. No expectations, of course. Uh, just in there talking about cryptocurrency with like-minded people. Opportunities will come and go. Um, everything uh, you see in there is not financial advice, but it's a good place to be. Um, when you got apes, degens, smart minds, the more minds, the better an opportunity will come from all different directions as always in these types of groups. Now, let's talk about what's going on in crypto, okay? Over the weekend, Bitcoin crashed, right? It went down. I was starting to see people go, Black Swan event, this and that's going on, and we're going to 50,000, we're, here we go now, we're not gonna recover till this. And then um, we got the rally back up and Ethereum was below $3,000. Bitcoin, I saw it hit $61,000, $62,000. I was watching on the chart, but I was busy with the family. UFC 300, man. The prelim started early. It was awesome. But uh, besides that, what I believe took place was the market scare. It's like crypto's open 24-7. The market for stocks opens on Monday. Now, the whole war scare that's going on is a serious matter worldwide. That should traditionally mean that the stock market opens on Monday and people are going to sell. And then the Saudis go into gold and, you know, they hedge their money, they hedge their bets. And typically we see gold go up for that reason during war scare times and when war happens. But also last time we had a war scare, thank God there was no war, um that money went into Bitcoin. Okay, so it's interesting because I do think that the crypto market front ran that scared, you know, times that happened that we'll experience in the stock market on Monday, but then it rallied. So was that a sucker's rally? It was an opportunity for me. I bought the dip, sold back up. Now I'm back in the stables because I'm thinking that when the stock market opens tomorrow, and give me your feedback because I want to, you know, hear everybody in the comments. I think tomorrow... We're going to open up in the stock market. I do think it'll plummet. But things are different now because before cryptocurrency, the crypto market had no correlation or movement when it was in regards to the stock market going up or down, right? Now they move together. When the stock market's doing good, it's good for crypto. When the stock market goes down, Bitcoin goes down as well. That's because Wall Street is more involved in the crypto market today. So the times have changed. That's just my personal opinion. You tell me what you think. So for me, across my wallets, I go I sold into the suckers rally, right? I bought the dip, the scare, front ran, the, the you know, the, the dip. I think we're going to have the stock market, but I still think Bitcoin will move down. Plus the Bitcoin halving. So we're going to have volatility because the Bitcoin halving is days away. Then the war scare. So Monday should be like a really like red day in the stock market is what I predict. I think Bitcoin will go back down to 61, 62. Now, if Bitcoin goes below 60,000, I, I have been thinking we should go back to $55,000 at the very minimum. Everything's changed because BlackRock's got uh, a lot of money in Bit Bitcoin and MicroStrategy. So Michael Saylor and the gang have been buying Bitcoin on all the dips and have been buying it all the way from the $30,000 range. 
And um, when the bull market start, starts, we should, you know, pass through 100K, but we're not going to see that till after the Bitcoin halving. So I went into stables because this crash that I think could potentially happen tomorrow, I'm going to use the stables to buy the dip. And then when we rally back up, sell for profits. I mean, that's how I make my living in crypto. And that's, you know, I, I live off this stuff. So that's going to be my strategy. Now, the opposite could happen. And people can start hedging their bets in Bitcoin because of the war scare. But I'm doubtful for that because I still think the stock market is going to react horribly tomorrow. I mean, it's going to, you know, the S&P 500 might be below 5,000. And if it's below 5,000, Bitcoin's going to have a terrible day, I believe. But we'll see. I'm not an expert. I'm speculating and predicting why I'm personally going into stables to wait for this ultimate dip in Bitcoin and then buy that bottom and then sell when we go back up when the smoke settles. As long as I can buy as close to the bottom as possible, then I can slowly ride it up or in crypto, sometimes it just goes up right away um, within a New York minute. So that seems like the safest play for me right now. Stable tokens, let the smoke clear, buy into that dip as, as low as I can, as close to the bottom as possible, and then make money off that. Now, on the flip side, the Bitcoin market could start to take off. Then, you know, I'm buying my bags a little bit higher price because I fumble back in right away. There's a lot of things that could happen. Could get wrecked, could get rich. Wrecked or rich, if you don't try, you'll never get rich. If you do try, you could get wrecked. So these are the risk factors. Get rich or get wrecked. And it's really just the name of the game. Opportunity of a lifetime is here. The Bitcoin having on the verge of a huge bull run, I believe, coming up soon. So war is very profitable. It just sucks that so many innocent people have to die um, for people to continue to just do what they do in these markets. I mean, people love the opportunity that war brings. I hear it across the board. I don't like war. I don't want war. But... Am I going to sit back and do nothing or take advantage of the opportunities to present themselves? So my prediction, the stock market will crash tomorrow. Um, not like a black swan event. If that does happen, great. I'll be in stables to follow the dips in crypto because I believe they move together now. Bitcoin having volatilities there. So that could even create a bigger opportunity. And then once you buy those bags at a cheaper price bull market starts and next thing you know you two three extra bag that's what i'm hoping so don't forget to pound the like button drop a comment till next time we'll do it again yeah dog